Chris Tvinaris here from mining.com.au. Joining me today is Executive Chairman of Metallica Minerals, Theo Saros. Theo, great to see you. Good morning, Christopher. Thanks for having me again. Theo, Metallica has signed an MOU with Eternal Asia. What's the nature of the MOU and how important is this in your quest to become the next Silica Sands producer in Australia? Look, we're very pleased to have signed the MOU with Eternal Asia. Basically, um, it's, a, it's a great start to sharing uh, technical information. We'll be sending samples of our silica sand over to them. And importantly, we get to understand their proprietary technology on what they intend to do with our product. And as we said in the release, value add our product and share in, the, in that value going forward. And Theo, how did the MOU come about? Is it fair to assume Eternal Asia was one party of many interested in accessing Metallica's high purity silica sand from Cape Flattery? Yeah, look, we recognise, and it's very obvious, China has 90% of the world's solar panel manufacturing. So we needed to engage with them. One thing that's guaranteed, it's not going to be a fast process. So our general manager commercial, Sam Fisher, has been to China uh, twice in the last three months, we wanted to engage with the end users, understand the market, understand their demand and supply initiatives, but also understand their cost of production so that we could get a handle on how our product would sit. And out of those discussions and introductions came about meeting Eternal Asia. I have to say they're very, very keen. Um, you don't usually see that. In, in Asian parties, but they're very, very keen. So it came about because one, we needed to, you can't sit behind your desk here in Brisbane and expect people to come to you. We had to go to them. And I would expect Sam's gonna earn a lot more frequent flyer points in 2024. And what are the next steps and what will be the catalyst for the MOU to become a binding agreement and form a strategic partnership? Well, firstly, time and patience. Um, we will continue to uh, swap information, uh, learn more about them. They'll understand more about our project. But what it really does heighten is the need for Australia to get through the approvals processes faster. We know our product is wanted. We know we've got buyers of the product. So they'll be watching our approvals process, and that's government and traditional owners. So as I said, time and patience are going to be key. But it's nice to know that someone wants to buy your product. That was Theo Saros, Executive Chairman of Metallica Minerals. Theo, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Christopher. Have a great day.